<laughs> what is up guys i'm rustin man and welcome to age of wonders 3 the eternal lords dlc has released introducing the new necromancer class as well as two races i believe anyways let's jump into this game if those of you wondering what this game is it is like civilization beyond earth all of them is a 4x based strategy and i've been looking forward to it so let's get on with it this actually uh is one of the games i play alongside of endless legend a lot in my spare time um anytime i'm waiting to do something or waiting for something to do i'll play this or endless legend or even dungeon of the endless but uh check these games out because they're actually pretty cool you know we'll play on night difficulty just because one i don't ever claim to be the best at video games especially not these um we're gonna go with a normal game flow it should uh Ah, should we go with the battle flow? Battle will be quick. I usually play on battle flow. You know, I'll play on battle flow. Starts with a large city and a significant army. Like, you have an army ready to fight and go, and you can just get off into the game right away. That being said, so does everyone else. Alright, so we're going to go with random everything. Because I like to do this a lot. Um, this has gotten me killed more than once. So, it could either backfire on me terribly, or it could be great for me. And I'm just going to randomly just start jerking things around here. I'm just, just, just randomly sliding here. Okay, there we go. Um, wow, we have a lot of blighted lands. Let's turn that down. Um, difficulty night, map size. Yeah, we'll go. We could go extra large, but we'll just go with large. Uh, there's going to be a service. And this is the one cool thing about this. It reminds me a lot of, uh, what was it? Uh, man, the old, <clears> that was Alpha Centauri. Whatever, no, not that. Um, anyways, there's an underground map where actually several of the races can reside. So we'll go with that. All right, we're going to have select leaders, which allows you to select your leaders. You can also have customized leaders, random leaders, which basically means the game will randomize everybody's leaders. We'll have allied victory, turn timer. We don't need a turn timer. Seals victory, unifier victory. Uh, we'll just leave allied victory on. So we'll leave everything else good. Um, tactical combat mode against always ask. Yeah, advanced rules. Do we have anything specific? Random eras, match play races. Heroes of Spawn will have the same race as the Polyers leader or absorb cities if possible. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll keep that on. Why not? It makes sense. Force high speed technical combat. All combat will take a high speed. Uh, I don't know if I want that. Starting resources. It's fine. Game speed. We'll actually go research cost for 75%. We're going to go with fast on this just because I don't know how long this playthrough will be, nor do I want it to be crazy long at first because especially if something comes up or a new game releases. Empire Quest, we'll turn those on. Yeah, all right. We'll play all that. That's good. Let's launch. And into the world we go. All right. So as far as the new class, this is the new class, the Necromancer. As you can see, the Necromancer looks like a badass. Now, I do have all the DLC for the game, which introduced the Tigran. What is it? It introduced the Tigran, the Draconian, I believe. Or was the Draconian already in there? Ah, I remember. Anyways, we have the Frostling, which I believe is one of the new races. Um, and I forgot, actually. It's been a while since I played. I know dwarves are down in the game. So anyways, we have. I'll just go over the races. It's just so, you know, just solve the issues. Goblin, Halfling, Human, High Elf which looks sick. Uh, the Draconian, the Dwarf, and the Orcs, as well as the Frostling. And the Tigran, which are kind of like this werewolf, like almost species, which actually I think I'm gonna choose because I've never actually played these before. And I think they were in the previous DLC, if I'm correct. Although I could be wrong. Uh, the Golden Realms, I believe is the previous one. Uh, I only played it for a little bit. I didn't play it long because I got sidetracked by something or another. It's actually a lot of stuff that happens like that uh, when I'm playing video games. I have a lot of games I just not played because I got sidetracked. And actually, that's one thing I'm going to start changing. Let's see, I think I'm going to go with the Tigran. So the Tigran, Tigran, whatever, are fast and agile. They are resistant to many mind control effects while being more vulnerable to other elements, especially cold. They're going to move quickly in combat and then more quickly in combat than other races. And many have the pounce ability, allowing them to leap over the walls of other obstacles to reach their foes. Oh, that sounds awesome. They like barren, ter barren terrains and dense vegetation. They dislike blighted, and they hate arctic. 
race bonuses they have night vision they are predator they have athletics barons running they have 40 percent sprint protection interesting plus one holy resistance is that religious resistance i don't remember <clears throat> sorry uh, it's been a while since i played so i might start confusing some of these symbols with like from like anything from civilization to whatever fucking galactic civilizations you never know 20 percent frost weakness and five gold wealth currency whatever Let's see what we got destruction adept destruction nodes all right cool necromancer the class is access to powerful units summoning spells converts units and cities into undead ghouls awesome undead units and cities ignore most morale and happiness penalties Undead units are vulnerable to spirit damage attacks. Mmm. So that means probably the, uh, is it the Archdruid? I think it's the Archdruid and the Theocrat or something like that. That has a lot of, like, even the Sorcerer will probably have some spells like that. All right. Anyways, let's go. Right into the game. Let's just do it. Generate a new world. Mmm. I love it. Yeah, this game is really cool. If you're interested in the fantasy worlds, uh, Age of Wonders has always been a game to deliver. Um, when it released, it was kind of sub... I mean, it was an okay game, but it was kind of subpar compared to, you know, like other games out there on the market. But with every DLC, they have just delivered tenfold. Saren the Black, the Tigran Necromancer. All right. First of all, we are a tiger on a tiger. So that is awesome. And we have some pretty cool uh, environments here. So yeah, I'm down with that. All right, anyways, let's start off by selecting our research here. All right, so we have basic seafaring. Necromancy increases spellcasting points by plus 10, allowing you to cast more spells per turn. Also increases mana capacity by 100, allowing you to store more mana. Unlocks Necromancy 2. Okay, that, re that will take two turns and it takes 45 knowledge. Produce reanimator, enables production of the reanimator in cities with the necromancer dark power. What do they do? They're a support unit, black bolts, raise corpse, melee strike, and heal undead. That sounds awesome. So they can also s uh, research and lock summon banshee. All right, master of puppets. All your girl units have plus 300 happiness. Is that what that is? Really? Interesting. Seed of Distress. No player can advance their diplomatic state with the target independence city or dwelling. Target city or dwelling will not offer any quests while active. Uh, while active quests within whoop, within the city are canceled and instantly failed. That is sick. So yeah, that's some of the uh, the, the strategic spells that you can play like uh, on the map against other players. Hastily Plunder. Empire Upgrade enables the Hastily Plunder option in the city option menus. Basically, plunder allows you to instantly raise a city and gain the loot as if it were plundered. Cool. Undead Plague. Target enemy living city has negative 200 health and loses 400 pre players per turn or population. Your nearest undead city gains this as an undead pop. That is sick. Dude, that means you could literally place a new city there and then just pop that spell down. Oh, dude, that could be... That's metagaming at its best. Research stiff and limb. The limbs... Uh, of the target or non-machine, non-undead unit will become stiff and painful until the end of combat. Units with stiff and limbs suffer 12 movement speed, negative 2 defense, and 2 melee damage. Okay? That sounds pretty cool. And dispel. Dispels all magical enchantments on a target unit, removing any... You know what? Alright. Well, I'd say since we are going to be doing continents, we're probably going to grab advanced seafaring first. Well, this reanimator sounds pretty badass. So does a necromancy. Ah, let's just grab seafaring. All right, we spent enough time looking at that, I think. All right, so, see, so do we have? Uh, nope, doesn't look like we don't have anything special going on. Okay, so let's just immediately go off. What do we got here? We have our ghoul tigrans, which look awesome, by the way. One thing I will say about this game is the models are fantastic. Like here, let's take a look at this. Look at that model, man. That's just sick looking. Oh. Very beautiful. Beautiful model. Alright. So anyways, we have Lemur here. This is our city. We have our bandit camp out here from the looks of it. It's the Independence. Draconians. Alright. This sounds good. Who is this guy? Owned, these are owned by me? What? Alright. Hilde Mayflower. At level 1 Archdewood wants to join your forces for 100. Show me your talents. 
All right, what do we got here? Cast spells, healing. She can heal. Friendly target. All right. Shoot long bow. She's a walking. She's cavern. She has charge. She has fast healing. She's a human mariner. Okay. Uh, for 100 gold, how much gold do I have? 300. Uh, you know what? I'll take it. Arch druid. Why not? All right. So where's my other army? Right there. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I thought I had another army. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's in the city. You two go join up. Become one. Awesome. They're now one with each other. Actually, who is this character? Guldigrin's Sabertooth Chariot? Oh my god, look at that. That is so sick. That's awesome. I love it. All right. Anyways, yeah. Production. <clears throat> Again, sorry. I'm, I'm getting kind of like uh, just getting ahead of myself here. I'm like nerding out already. Um, there's nothing to nerd out over. Uh, let's see what do we got here. We can produce shrine, shooting grounds, war hall. You know what? I'm gonna do probably as soon as been made undead by vile magic. That's an archer. That's an irregular a builder. It's a pikeman and a battering ram. All right. Um. What's the movement range of these guys? This guy has a movement range of t nine, seven, eight. Well, I'm gonna grab. Hmm. Tigran Cheetah. Kind of sounds like a scout in a way. I don't think it's not really a scout, but we'll we'll produce that for now. All right. So now my quest: is to defeat all rival empires. And allied victory is one of my thing. Protect your leader and your throne city. If your leader dies, he will take three turns to respawn. Oh, uh, we got some gold already. I didn't even see that. I found 93 gold. Hey, I almost made back my investment. That is awesome. All right, so what is this over here? The Magma Forge. An army requires your orders. All right, well, what's over here? These three? All right, well, you know what? I think, at, well, I guess the end of the next turn, we will go fight them. But one thing I have to say is I love these environments. Anyways, let's end turn. Um, a new day dawns. Select production for Lemur. All right. Wow, that already produced? Did not expect it to produce that. Oh, I guess it is only one turn, huh? All right. Um. Hmm. I'll produce an archer now, I guess. Produce one of each kind. I wanna I wanna actually I'm probably gonna be pushing this. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I am I'm trying to select the unit. Give me the unit. I want the unit. I want the unit. There we go. Alright. I'm probably gonna try and uh push too hard. Alright. You can engage the independent forces. Yes. I Yes, manual combat. We'll go manual combat on this. Just so you guys can see what combat is like in this game in the first episode. So those of you interested in this game can find out what it's like. Because it honestly is a great game. Alright, independents are moving. Okay, they decided not to move apparently. Whatever. Alright, so what do I got here? I got these cheetah, the sun guard. You can see right here means I can make double action. You know, you can see, you get the idea, I'm sure. Um, what was that? Boom! Alright, so can I get cover in there? Nope, guess not. Alright, um... So what are we actually facing here? We're facing two hatchlings, which do what? That's the resistance. Ah, that's what that is, resistance. Alright. So they have a fire spit, which does 11 damage. Jesus. What do these guys have? A melee strike. Wow, okay, that's actually pretty deadly. So we want to try to avoid uh, Ghoul Tiger. The cheetahs on the prowl. It's like we don't have a uh, defensive stance it. All right. I'm going to put these guys behind these guys. I'm going to send my character. I'm going to see if I can flank them. What do we got? Cast spell. Raise corpse. I wish I could raise a corpse. Black bolts. Can I fire at them? Nope. It doesn't look like I can. That's out of range. All right. So we'll just uh, by round. We'll let them make a move. They're just gonna sit there, huh? Interesting. That's fine. We'll let them do what they want. 
Let them do that. See if I give a damn. I can actually charge to that. I think what I'm actually going to do is head over here. God, I love the tiger, man. The tiger looks badass. Boom! I love that action smash. Action smash! Not actually an action smash. I just like to call it an action smash. Alright. Let's see, what is this? Pounce the unit teleports to a hex adjacent to the target and strikes it. And entering guard mode afterwards. That sounds awesome. Alright. There we go. Now they're moving. Oh! Critical hit! Oh, they're so fucked. <laughs> We're so fucked. <laughs> Fool! And now I do believe we're gonna get a flanking attack on this. Melee strike. Okay, so yeah, we definitely crushed them there. Alright, um. I believe there is flanking. If I remember right, there is flanking attack. Like, almost 100% sure. Uh, not 100% sure, you know what I'm saying? Oh, get up in there! Get up in there! Okay. Wow, did they actually just... Wow, okay. Those yeah, those guys are scouts then. Confirmed. They're scouts. Let's just see if we can... Uh... Oh, Dad! Oh, the tigers! The tigers, all right. They're bleeding, though. That's cool. Sun shield! Nine damage. All right. Saren the Black is now moving. All right, so let's move here. Oh, I think we'll yeah, so they're gonna get a, okay. Yeah, they got two tags of opportunity, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna push them 100. All right. Well, we lost. I'm gonna okay. So those cheetahs are definitely scouts. Are damn light scouts. Exploring the gold mine has discovered 53 gold. Awesome. I believe that's gold, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, it's gold. No, it's not gold, man. Damn. But it is. All right. So, yeah, we actually took a lot of damage. I did not, not expect that. I did not expect them to take that much damage. Whoa, was that a, what is that? Ancient ruins? Unexplored strong treasure sites unlocks. Oh, God. Let's flee that. Let's not enter that. We're not entering that dungeon. Not yet, anyways. I probably should have just stuck over there. Um, all right. One thing I have to say, I just love these environments, man. They're beautiful environments. Ooh, what is that? Is that a goblin down there? It's a cobalt. All right. Cool. And so that's not done yet. Let's end our turn. The town of the Maw produces a Tigran Shredder. Good. Get that Shredder over there, man. So I have a feeling this class is, um, other than like Sun Guards, they're going to be very weak, but they're going to do high damage. I have a feeling that's where this uh, race is going. I just get this feeling. I don't know why. Call me crazy. Wait, can I jump to that? Oh, that's right. I can because I'm a Tigran. That's right. Or was I not supposed to do that? Oh, when I... Okay, jumping takes a lot more. Okay, I got you. I get it now. Advanced... Okay, so I can now do seer fairing. And park hunger. Your troops are... Okay. Uh, undead irregular infantry and pikemen gain the life-stealing ability. Um, yes, we're definitely going to take that. I'm going to try and get as many, like, unit upgrades as possible. I don't exactly know how I want to play this character out. Oh, it's an independent. All right. Uh, I thought that was, like, the actual... Another race. For a second. But, uh, I do... Whoop. Not what I wanted to do. Suck like production. I'm going to grab these sun guards. Then I'm going to go and build the shrine and the shooting grounds. We'll start doing some upgrades to the city. Army requires your orders. All right, well, let's just scout this out here. I want to see what's up ahead. 
All right, so what do we got? We have three wargs and some kobolds. We may be able to take those. I'm not sure. We have, do have those cheetahs, though. So if, now that I know that they die quickly, I should be able to uh, use that to my advantage. A new day dawns. All right. Let's see. We'll see if we can get the sun guard in with this army. All right, there we go. No, we should. Oh, never mind. We can't move anymore. All right, so let's see. Can we actually? Uh, can I move anywhere with this? Doesn't look like it. What is that? Lost library. Out of move points. I wonder if I can jump. It looks like I can actually jump down from there. That's interesting. Tigrins are sick, man. They can do everything. Army requires your orders. All right, let's go attack these goblins. Let's take over this farm. Out of move points. What? Really? I can't move through that jungle? That's fine. All right. Go. All right. Very likely victory. Manual combat that. I want to see if I can deal with these uh, Tigrins. Saren the Black does something. <laughs> All right. Let's just skip that intro. Um, Saren the Black is moving. All right. So what do these guys do here? All right, so they're just melee. They do... Uh, wow, okay. 12 damage. That looks like 8 poison damage. These guys just do 8 damage all together. All right, cool. So, let's see what these chariots can do. Throw blades? That sounds awesome. Okay, so where are those sun guards at? There they are. We're going to have these guys leave in the front. We're going to have the cheetahs back them up from behind. Let me see if they can use their pounce ability. What is this? Shoot longbow. Hmm. All right, well, we'll do this. Shoot longbow. Nope. All right, I want to have these guys probably flank over to the left. We'll have these guys stack up here. I have a feeling these wargs are going to be able to catch up. Can't throw it at that range. Let's see what happens. Yep, the wargs are so going to catch up. Alright, well, we did the same amount of damage to each other. Ooh. Look, we did way more damage there. Right. Okay, cool. Well, let's see, 15, 23 charge. Let's take that. There we go. Shoot them. Or actually, well, I actually meant to shoot them, but we'll do that too. That works. Doesn't really matter. Boom! Death. Wait, they're not dead? Really? Those guys are seriously not dead? Well, they're dead now. Yeah. Death. Oh my god. Okay. These humans are so weaker than I thought they'd be. Way weak, but it's awesome. It's fine. All right, so I'm definitely gonna lose those guys. Right here. All right. Well, now that we know that happens, we're gonna get flanking. Boom! Yep, yep. There we go. Flanking damage. There's flanking damage. I was correct. I knew I was correct. Damn you! Damn you, sirs! I knew I was correct. All right. Cool. All right, uh, exploring the great farm, you discover a warg. Take reward. I'll take them. Why not? Give me the warg. It may come in handy. All right. Is that a independent? Okay, it's an independent party. Let's see, can I actually get down here? The unexplored strong. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we're not doing that. Um. I think we'll head back and recuperate. But also, I think this is a great place to end the first video, guys. Uh, it probably has been a little bit longer, I hope. I actually have lost track of time. Because I was actually uh, just messing around with the settings before we were starting the recording. But anyways, this has been Age of Wonders 3, guys. Check it out. is the Lord's Eternal DLC. Um, or expansion. It's not actually DLC. That, a lot of that has been confused. It's not DLC. It is actually an expansion. Um, somehow and somewhere along the way, we have forgotten what DLCs and expansions are. 
and then people just sell expansions as DLCs and sell DLCs as expansions. I, it's it's stupid. But with that in mind, I am out. Actually, it wasn't that was nothing in mind. I don't. I just. Ugh. I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead. So with that I am out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button for me and let me know by commenting down below. I would appreciate it. If you guys want to see more of this series, keep it going. Do let me know. And uh, with that, I'm out. So watch you guys. The playlist for the video will be in the video in the description down below, as well as any other descriptions for other series I've done. Damn, this has just been one shitty ending. With that, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.